Our SaaS configurator tool is here. What this will allow you to do is to manage your clients' billings and subscriptions for your white label ad tool powered by Play. So how this works is that you'll see a new tab up here called SaaS configurator. So once you tap that, if it's your first time setting up the SaaS configurator, you'll see a screen that says connect to your Stripe account. When you connect to your Stripe account, what's happening here is that this will create a new account underneath your current Stripe account. So it's like creating a new sort of workspace in your Stripe account to manage the billings just for your AI ads tool. So when you're creating this new workspace in your Stripe account, you can choose to use your existing business details from one of your other Stripe workspaces, or you can create it as a new business, but this will be a new workspace in your Stripe account just for your AI ads tool. Once you connect it, that's it. It's just always going to be connected to your Play admin email account. And that should just take two minutes um, or so. This will not say Play. Uh, this is going to be your business name, your email and everything tied to your Stripe account. So this won't mention Play. Once you connect your Stripe account, you'll be able to create a plan. You can add a description for that pricing plan and you can add the amount. You can also select the currency and you can also select the interval at which you want to bill your clients. You could also choose to add a trial period if you'd like, and then just create the plan. This will create the plan in your Stripe account as well. You could also add another plan if you'd like to. Now for the plan settings. This is how you choose and who you choose to show the pricing screen to. You might already have existing customers on your custom domain connection inside of Play. You might already have existing customers on there. So what this allows you to do is that if you turn this on, you can display the pricing to those existing customers and any new customers. The second option right here is display pricing exclusively to new clients. You might want to do this if you have existing clients because you're already billing them. If you're already charging them. You might already have a process for them. So you don't want to show them the pricing. Alternatively, you can also choose to display pricing exclusively to selected clients. So you can turn this switch on and you can tap this and you can choose the clients that you want to show this pricing screen to. So there's three different options for who you want to show this pricing plan to. You can also edit these pricing plans at any time. You can make them active or archive them if you want to update your pricing in the future. Here's where you can filter out between your past plans and your current plans. And again, here's where you can add the different features that will show on the pricing page for your clients. We'll also show you this reporting dashboard as far as how many subscriptions you have, how many active subscriptions, your monthly revenue, your total revenue, your average revenue. And below the plans will also show you a list of your customers. So you can see the name of your customer, the email, the price package that they're on, the status of their subscription, and when their next renewal date is. You'll see that all right here. So it's pretty straightforward. This works great with your custom domain connection feature, which is right here. So if you have a custom domain set up on play, you should be using this SaaS configurator. Now this will just make billing and charging your clients much easier. The SaaS configurator is only available in our white label plus plan and our white label pro plan. The custom domain option is where you can connect your own custom domain and your ads tool is hosted on your own domain. So you can integrate it with pretty much any platform.